Hello, welcome back to another edition of Northern Southern Beer Reviews with your host, Jonathan Brown. And now I've got a brew dog. Quite critical, I've been quite critical of brew dog. I'm not a big fan of their labels, everybody knows that. And I've got their Vagabond Pale Ale. There you go, boys and girls, 4.5% ABV, lovely jubbly. Crap label. And there is the back. This is their gluten-free beer. So um, I don't know what to expect from this one. So I'm just going to crack her open. Like you do. And see what we're going to get from her. There is. Oh, I've dropped that one. I know. That it was. <laughs> that was the uh, the Brew Dog uh, Crown. Just gone. It's quite fruity. It, it kind of like what's coming through with the uh, this beer is um, kind of like you know them fruit salad sweets you used to get in the seventies. Um, it feels like that. It feels. Like that type of like, kind of like um, star um, opal fruits kind of thing going on. It's not really uh, not much else. Just a big fruit character coming through from the neck. Um, I think I'm going to be impressed with this one. I must admit, it's going to be a good. One. And it's funny that fruit character is carrying on from the from the bottle as well. Um, yeah, real, real lovely fruit, um, fruit salad. Um, very pear-like. It's kind of like orange, mango, mango. Plum, pomegranate, and again, it's kind of like um, that kind of like generic citrus, kind of like hoppy aroma you get with with them as well. It's it's definitely there, definitely there. So um, I'm gonna go in. Cheers. weird when I'm, I'm going in um, <clears throat> you're getting a real perfume like aroma as you're drinking it um, there's no bitterness there it's weird it's, it's kind of like this beer smells better and what it tastes. What I'm getting in the taste is lots of little fruity notes, um, like yeah, you know, bits of lemon, melon, raspberry, uh, pineapple, orange, um, nectarine, and stuff like that. But it's not leaving really any residue in your mouth, like an aftertaste of a hop or a grassy, any kind of like characteristic about it. Getting more lemon now. Um, nettle comes to mind. Um, and that's about it really. Um, for a gluten free beer yeah, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Not bad at all. Just don't like the labels. Um, for me, it, you know, unremarkable comes to mind. <laughs> unremarkable. Um, but, you know, for you know people on a gluten-free diet, you know, it's not bad at all. I prefer the St. Peter's G3 beer to this one, to be honest with you. Um, just going one more time. Mm -hmm. 
it's lacking some something in the taste. It's again, everything smells nice more than what it tastes. You know, you're getting beautiful fruity aroma. You're getting a beautiful kind of like perfumey aroma as you drink it. In in the taste, you're getting little bits of pockets of fruit fruit taste notes, but it's missing something. It's missing something that kind of like finishes it off for me. For me, and um, that's it in a nutshell, really. So, boys and girls, Brewdog Vagabond Pearl Ale. Give it a go if you want. See you on my next one.